Now, knowing CPR and basic first aid in an emergency can save a life, but learning how to do it isn't always easy. Many time-poor parents struggle to get to a hands-on class to learn what to do in an emergency with their kids. So, paediatric nurse Sarah Hunstead came up with an online course. And Sarah joins us now, along with mum Renee Chafe and her sons Archie and Rafa. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Sarah, lots of first aid courses are available. You can go to many in person, but what is your, kid, your course? How is it different? dealing specifically with kids? So being a paediatric nurse, I know that as a mum myself, you know what, there is nothing that beats a face-to-face -face first aid class. It is so important that we do this. But sometimes when you're at 2am and you're breastfeeding or you've got your little ones running around, the best you can do is learn online. And something that's developed specially for parents is really important. And as a parent, when, you know, things like choking and things like, mm -hmm. you know, what to do in case of drowning, all those situations, exactly. you, you're frozen if you don't have those tools, aren't you? That's right, because knowledge is power. You need to know what to do in those minutes before an ambulance arrives because we know that what you do will make a difference in your child's outcome. And that's exactly what's happened to you, hasn't it, Renee? Not once, but twice yes. with your little <laughs> one here. Yes, so we had, um, first of all, Archie, during our uh, sitting down, having our dinner one night, um, started choking on a, a piece of mm -hmm. meat and um, it was quite it was really a scary moment for us but it was amazing I just felt really calm and I knew exactly what to do um, and, and what did you do oh, I just literally well you, they say you know to wait and see if they can cough it up a healthy cough um, that didn't work so I just grabbed him out of his high chair and put him over my knee and and did, did what I learned yeah which will demonstrate with little Annie yes. here yes. Little, little Annie who's not yes. quite as mobile as the other two yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the other occurrence? And the other one was uh, I, we had a fire pit going um, and the fire, pit, the fire was out and um, we went to the other side of the backyard and um, I turned my back for just a moment and all of a sudden I heard this scream and I just knew straight away. I turned around and Archie had touched it with both hands. Oh, and we can see the picture of the yes. burns on his hand there. Yikes. Yes, yeah. So it was really quite yeah. traumatic and um, again I just... That's your and hand there. Too. That's you. Yeah, yeah. Um, on TV, TV. Yeah. that's you on TV yeah. when you burnt your hand. Is your hand still sore? Is it still hurty? Is it okay? It's okay now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. a little bit better. of a hurty yeah. there. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Which, you know, would be just terrifying when you are in that situation. But kids, sounds like he's an absolute... He's an angel here this morning. He is, but he is a little bit wild, isn't he, Rafa? So... Is he wild, Rafa? Is yeah. he? Is he a bit of a silly little brother who gets yeah. up to all sorts of trouble? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you look cheeky too, just quietly as well. Yeah. So what's your message then, Sarah, in terms of, you know, getting access to this? Obviously you want people to go first up to, a, you know, in-person yes. course. But could this, could this be a refresher for people as well? Absolutely, because if you're not using these skills all the time, then our brains lose that yeah. ability to retain this. So being able to get online and refresh these skills mm. is really, really important because we shouldn't wrap our kids up in cotton wool we need to get them out there exploring the world. We just need to know how to patch them up afterwards. Yeah, exactly. All right, so little Annie here. Give us a bit of a demonstration, okay. which, Renee, you've kind of summed up, I suppose, what to yes. do, but to yep. demonstrate physically. Yep, exactly. We won't put, um, won't put Archie through that again now. <laughs> so, if Annie had a strong, effective cough, we're going to encourage her to keep coughing. If she is silent or she has an ineffective cough, what we're going to do, take her out of the high chair or whatever it is that she's in. Mm. We're going to put her over our lap between the shoulder blades, with the heel of our hand, we're going to give up to five back blows. Black bows are quite forceful. One, Ooh. check. Two, check. Three, check. Four, check. Five. Obviously, if it comes out after the first one, you don't need to give all five. Yes. <laughs> However, if that hasn't worked, we're going to get an ambulance. We want help coming. We're going to turn Annie over on your, her chest, so not her tummy because we don't do the Heimlich manoeuvre. Ah. We're going to give up to five chest thrusts with either two fingers so or the heel But of laying hand. backwards, not That's upright right. and kind of... Because remember, she's conscious. If she's unconscious, we're going through Doctors ABC, or, which is the steps to CPR. Right. So one, two, three, four, five, if that doesn't work, we go back into back blows and we continue until either the object comes out, she becomes unconscious where we call an ambulance and hopefully the object's popped out. And, and you don't put your finger in, do you? Well, if, for example, and he had something just at the front of her mouth, we could get it out, but don't do any big finger sweeps. It's just going to push whatever it is further back down. Wow, it is a terrifying scenario to be in. You must have been so frightened. I, I was, and it was it was interesting because my husband kind of froze and Rafa, he burst into tears. You saw but it I'm, all happening, did yes. you, Rafa? Was it scary? Yeah, yeah. I but, I, but I felt 
uh, it was amazing. I just because it gave me the confidence to know what to do, and and it just came really quite naturally in the end. Yeah, Look at Archie, I wouldn't have imagined yes. that he would get up to any trouble at all here this morning. He's loving seeing himself on the TV as the yeah. kids do when they come in. Well, well done. It's a wonderful course. And so, to get information online, onto the CPR Kids website, which is cprkids.com.au. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you can you. watch the dramas coming up as well. They're really, really cool. Thank thanks, you. thanks, Rafa. Thanks, Archie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.